When that lady came up to me, that made me think maybe I did miss the kid. Yeah, it's it the is worst. easy to do because kids are so small and there's so many people. It's the worst feeling in the world. Even yeah. my heart rate's going up just yeah, watching this. Yeah, I know. I, because... I don't know what happens here. Hello, we're the Bondi Lifeguards. And today we're reacting to missing child videos. Let's get into it. Rip in. Well, I just seen the little girl running up to the tower. I thought it was just a missing kid. Couldn't find her mother and then I come out in, onto the stairs. And that the haircut is shocking. <laughs> We knew something was wrong here and we needed to find out quickly what was happening. You can see on these sort of days, it doesn't matter what the weather's doing, it could be 40,000 down the beach or it can be a cloudy winter's day. Um, we still seem to get lost kids. We pointed out to one of the only rips that are pulling on the beach and I just had a bad feeling about this one. The Harrison Oates get the thing. Jesse and I looked at each other and we thought this isn't good. I was a bit rattled when they kind of pointed at the water because, you know, it's all on our shoulders when people point at the water. That's probably, it's the scariest thing, even as a lifeguard, and that's not your kid, you're not the parent, but when the parent says to you, I've lost my kid last seen at the water, mm. you just think, oh, like, it could be anything, anywhere. As soon as you hear they've been in the water, you're just thinking straight away, that's a reason. Not breathing, yeah, that could be a reason. Yeah. Different yeah. to when you lost him in the park or mm. something. It's the two different types of missing people. There's yes. that, and then there's the water. As soon as you yeah. hear that they're in the water, you could be on. Tell us what's going on. We need to know. We're trying to help Let's you. Is he out there? That's just panicking. <laughs> <laughs> I, mate, I'll be panicking too. No, no, I'm, 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 my yeah. heart rate's going up. Just yeah, I know. I, I, don't, I don't know what happens here. No, no, that doesn't help. I'm caught up. Hurry in. We need to know what's going on. Well, my son needs a tail. Every oh. 10 seconds that go past is 10 seconds that they could be underwater. 100%. Like, it's, <laughs> it's so stressful for us because we think, oh, how are we going to miss it? Then, the boy is spotted coming out of the water. He has a white t-shirt in his hand. I have found him, I have found him. Oh, oh, she's, See? she's blowing up now. See, happy, sad, Teenage angry. Oh, is it? To the distress he's caused oh. his sister and Fire out. I just felt like the whole of the world just, just lifted off my shoulders. It's there. Oh. Settle down, it's all right, it's all right. Oh. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. It is yeah. such a relief. It is a relief. It's like what Hop says, it's it's never the lost kid, it's a lost parent. Lost parent. The kids are pretty they're pretty good and they don't panic and it's as soon as the panic kicks in, especially for an adult, they just continuously think of the worst case. Yeah. The kids don't ever think of the worst case, they're just no, they enjoying don't. life. They don't and, and, and when we do get the lost kids uh, come up to us, a lot of the time They're cool as a kid. They're pretty pretty chilled, yeah. yeah. Sweet. Mother of two, Amita, has been searching for her three-year-old son since he ran off more than 30 minutes ago. You're on my son, please! <laughs> Managing the parents can be really challenging. We need them to help us and assist us in finding the child. What, what's he wearing? What, what t-shirt? He's wearing like a white and this singlet. Yeah, you've, you've really just got to try and calm the parent down, don't you? Number yeah. one, because the information is so vital to get off them and all they want to think about is, is just the worst possible situation. If you can calm them down and get all the info, what they're wearing and stuff, it just makes our job so much easier. Yeah, 100%. The search reaches the 40 minute mark. Ooh, and there 27. is no sign of the young boy. It'll be the worst feeling as a parent. As light fades. It's the hardest thing trying to calm them down. Yeah, especially at seven o'clock when we're about to close up. Oh. Needs a meter's assistance. Mama. But she's suffering from heat stroke. We're just gonna sit down the first aid bed. And eat up. Hey. The search had gone on for quite a while. The worry's really starting to set in with me. The mother couldn't help us, so the five-year-old brother was the, the key witness. The best thing about this situation is it, there's no good thing about it, but we know that we watch the water that hard mm. and the boy or girl, whoever's missing, is never usually in trouble. They mm. just go wandering. Sometimes think, it's yeah. hard to find them. But I think it's even um, more stressful for the parents because they think, oh, well, they right, think the worst the immediately. Water, immediately immediately they think the worst, yeah. But a lot of the time the kids don't realise they're lost. And it's the parents who are just freaking out. Yeah, the kid's loving it, look. He's having a ride of his he's life. He's not the one who's lost, but. <laughs> <laughs> then, Dino spots a small boy in the shallows. Dino confirms the child is unaccompanied by a parent. 
but he's just picked up a random kid. I don't know if it's his kid because uh, I've just picked him up and taken him. Geez, that is a worry there because he was in the water. Yeah. Geez, that's the easiest find ever. Yeah. Yes! Nice. Oh, there's nothing better. Right, you want to have a race? Race him. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go see Mum. These are the parts that make you love your job, isn't so it? Good. They're just the most rewarding part when yeah. you can reunite the parent and the kid. It's been a number over the years. Yeah. Of Every season there seems to be at least 20 yeah. uh, that we do as Easy. each lifeguards. And uh, you know, thankfully at the last 18 years of me being a lifeguard, all kids have been, been found. found. Yeah. Um, you know, Same here. Yeah, so we're quite lucky in that sense. So 100% yeah. success rate. Yeah. Good service. <laughs> Good service. <laughs> if you've lost your child, you've, you know, nine times out of 10, you've just got to know it's like a supermarket. You just put it over, go to the people who work at the place they're gonna find your son, and honestly, mm. breathing is the most important thing. She passed out because she wasn't letting herself breathe properly. Yeah. And she probably hindered the like the time it took to find a child because she <coughs> lost lost control of, of her breathing. Where are you gonna go? It's cool here, Steve. Is that Harry's? Looks like Guy Leach. <laughs> Harry's has found this poor little Asian boy lost, crying, and... <laughs> I might just hit up someone. Harry's needs a translator to get a name or a description of the boy's parents. Lifeguards mobilise in the search for a potential translator as Harry's babysits. Stranger danger. You can see why now, whenever Harry's runs down for a surf, it's about 8.30 most mornings, is when poor, his wife Em's taking the kids to school. He just ejects himself from the situation. Because he's oh no God. good. No, no, he's no, no, no good. No. <laughs> That's the one, it's iconic, that scene. This is the rare occasions where the kid is spitting the dummy because mm. they're lost. The kid's safe, so they've just yeah. run away from their parents. Yeah. The parents are obviously scared, but it's a bit of a different sort of rescue because you've got the kid, everyone's fine. You've obviously got a worried parent running around, but you're not worried because yeah. he's fine. I'm more worried about Harry's with him. <laughs> <laughs> Harry's is really patient. Yeah. Like, he's kids. very patient with kids in situations like this. Anyone there? This one? Hold on, I'm going to try one more time. Ready? Zero? Zero? Wow. He thinks that if he can like put a higher pitch on his voice, the kid might understand English. Yeah. <laughs> I've got the mum, I think I've got the dad. Oh. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Son, look. There you go. See, the mum seems relieved. The kids, I reckon the mum didn't even know he was lost properly. You don't have to swim in this part. I was kind of looking at the water, concentrating, because there was a pretty bad rip running. You hear noise, the background noise. You always hear noise. Jennifer! <laughs> oh, this is the Jennifer one. Far out. We've just got a missing kid, Jennifer. 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 <laughs> There's, I know she's in distress and she's looking for Jennifer, but it's so annoying <laughs> to hear someone in the background screaming or anything when you're trying to focus yeah. on one thing. Let's just go away from this situation. Jennifer's clearly upset and she's lost someone. Um, but, you know, talk about noises behind us when we're trying to watch the water and focus. Bat ball. Bat ball. Bat ball. Um, you know, uh, back in the day, I don't know if people remember, they used to walk up and down the beach with the ice cream. Calippo! <laughs> that was Mario, wasn't it? <laughs> Godwin, Calippo! <laughs> Sometimes you've got to blank out um, as much as you can uh, the voices and the screams and, and, and so on. But the amount of times, how many times do you hear a, a scream or a yeah. yell and you think something's kicking off, but it's just someone. Whistling, whistling. Yeah, That's whistling. That's the worst. Because yeah. we're just in tune to hear a whistle or a scream and straight away we're just like, oh, yeah. shit. Oh, is, it, is, it one of the, is it one of the guys? Yeah. Is, is it um, one of the surf instructors? Yeah. Is it a local surfer? Because it's kind of like. Uh, They're trying to get our, someone's yeah. trying to get our it's attention. Like a, a, Unwritten language yeah. around the, around the beaches, whistling. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. it's well, back to Jennifer. 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 Her name was Jennifer. <laughs> no, 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 she. <laughs> I think Mum's on about level twelve. We've only got level ten. <laughs> I like that one. Pink gloves. Yes, yes. And pink gloves too. Pink gloves. What are you dressing her in? The amount of times where someone says, I've got a missing child, they're wearing a blue rashy, pink hat, orange board mm. shorts. 
it seems like everyone on the beach is yeah. wearing that colour. Yeah, because you're just picking up every bit of blue mm. that you see. The worst is when the so, parents actually get the description yeah. wrong and you're looking for the wrong person. Well, a tip for the parents watching with the kids for this YouTube video at the moment, you know, go wear something different. That, yeah. uh, <laughs> and if she's got something like distinctive pink gloves on, mm -hmm. you're straight away going to be looking for the gloves, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. What they're wearing is quite important. Yeah, the, yeah and you know, wear. you always, if they've got like green shorts, I think of like a bright colour and then yeah. I'd look for that bright colour. Yeah. That's what Jesse said then pink gloves, we should be able to find her find because it, yeah. how many people have gone down got pink gloves on? Yeah, Not exactly. Many. Hey Jennifer! Oh yeah! Hello? Is that your mum, Jennifer? She's been worried! Jennifer, where are you? <laughs> She's been here the whole time. See, again, angry. Yeah. Happy, but upset. Yeah. I won't be able to speak the next day. No more tears. Yeah, I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you. Sore ears. Sore ears. <laughs> <laughs> Beanie always loves to leave just like a little little remark, just to let him remember him. Hi guys, this is North. Uh, we've got a lost child, eight years old. It's a girl, she's got a two-piece blue bikini on, and she's last seen in the water. I was down in the north and a mother came up to me. She was kind of okay, you know? She's like, look, I've lost my child. Can you help me out? It's not, it's not frantic yet. I asked her if she could swim. She knew the rules and all that kind of stuff. 100% there's no kid being sucked out here, because I've been here. She's in the shallows looking for her. I hope she comes back and tells me that she finds a kid. What Yacy was saying, when you are one of those real busy days, mm. you have a certain area of the beach. You get assigned to the south corner or backpackers or up north. Mm. That is your area. You know the rips are pulling. You know there's a lot of people around. You need to be on your game. And actually, the more busier it is and the more hectic it is, the more, you know, as a team, the lifeguards, we yeah. become calmer and we yeah. become more thorough with our, our watching in that area. Mm. And, you know, back in Yacy there, He's 100% confident yeah. that, you know, no one's gone missing on yeah. his watch. It's also hard on these busy days because everyone's stationed on the beach, like you said, and there might only be one or two people out. So you've still got to keep your eye out for a missing kid and understand all the stuff that's going on. Mm. But you've also got to watch the water because, yeah. unfortunately, if something happens in the water, the missing kid becomes second, like, mm. second string. Yeah, and you, plenty of times that happens on these yeah. busy days. You get the... You get rescues, you're in and out, and someone comes up about something that's a yeah. beach matter. Sometimes we pass it on to the rangers or the yeah. police, or we come back to it um, because, you know, our priority is the red and yellow flags and watching the yeah. water. And then this lady came up to me who was just swimming the bay. We looked out there, and there was a girl holding her hand up, and she, she kept going under the wave, so it was kind of like closing out, I don't know. Thank you. Sometimes, if, you know, by off chance you do miss something and it's uh, second or third person information about someone yeah. in the water, you know, a lot of the times you, your mind goes into overdrive and you start second guessing, did I miss something? Is there something that I saw yeah. but I didn't think, I thought they were all right? Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes and it's a decent it, sized day too. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. so when you have people come up, especially people that witness firsthand, um, say that I saw someone out the back with their hand up and you can't see them anymore. Mm. That's when you escalate the situation yeah. and you know you get the jet ski in the water, you clear the water out, you get extra lifeguards down to look. Okay. Um, code red. Code red, but I, I, don't, I don't remember this video, so it'll be interesting yeah. to see what Yatesy does. Yeah. When that lady came up to me who didn't know what was going on and actually said that to me, that made me think maybe I did miss the kid. Yeah, it, it's it the is worst. easy to do because kids are so small and there's so many people. Like it's- It's the worst feeling in the world. Worst. Yeah, this situation can be very, very stressful, missing someone right in front of you. Oh, it's, there's the, no like, worse like, feeling. You know, you feel like it's your responsibility mm. and you've, you've let someone go under. Especially because it was on the flags too. Yeah. If you lose someone in the flags, that's, that's on you. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. This is what I was saying before, the water's edge thing, like. She was screaming, she wasn't making much sense. And I started stressing out. Having a hysterical parent just adamant that their child was in the water and had drowned, you know, obviously you're gonna, you're gonna be start to freak out a little bit. The parent's almost inconsolable and they're freaking out, but it doesn't help the situation. It doesn't. Because you're, then, then you start, you can't show up, but you start, you know, sort of freaking out going, oh. <laughs> 
what's the worst case? And you just want to shake them and be like, I need you to calm down, I need you to, but how do you do that? Like, well, they're it, freaking out, they've yeah. lost their kid. In those situations too, reassurance is so important yeah. to reassure them that everything yeah. is going to be somewhat okay. Yeah. Um, we're going to do our best we can to locate your child. Yeah. Even though your mind's going a million miles an hour, you're trying to siphon through yeah. the information you need to tell the parent to make them not make the situation a lot yeah. worse because you know, not knowing what happens, it, yeah. it doesn't it doesn't look good. No. And Yatesy doesn't get rattled that easy. It's hard trying to tell someone like it's all gonna be fine when you actually don't know. You don't know, exactly right. It was squarely my fault. No one else's. Because I was watching. It's the flagged area, so that just triples the guilt that you feel. I just feel like so sorry for Yatesy in this, this yeah. position because that's like I said earlier, like that's on you. Like, yes. you know, if they're your flags, you, they're like your baby, essentially. They're your baby. You mm. gotta look after everything that's in those flags. Yeah, yeah, T is doing the best he could, he could do it, like reassuring the lady. At and, the same time, then, you can tell how he's feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And what was the, uh, what was the swimming ability? I'll get to that in a minute, mate. I just didn't really wanna upset her more than she already is. That's exactly why Beardy's walking away here because he doesn't want any, not only the mother, but anyone in the public knowing that we're thinking the worst here. Mm -hmm. We need to keep a brave face. And so what he wants to say on the radio, he needs to walk away because we don't want anyone else hearing what we have to say. Especially yeah. if you're gonna start calling in helicopters and yeah. police and ambulance uh, and search, more search and rescue teams. When um, you know people aren't silly, they could hear things and they see things. So in these situations, it's best to walk away. walk away if you're the communicator with the radio and uh, assign someone else that's not part of the incident. So you can call someone else from another part of the beach to come down and reassure the, the, mm. the parent because they're not really directly involved in the search and rescue. Yeah. And you know, in this case, Yates, he, it's been half an hour now, he's, he's feeling that bit of guilt where he needs yeah. to go out. And you know, a lot of us probably would yeah. go out, pat yeah. it out the back and try and look. Um, there's only one person on the jet ski. Yeah. So, you know, you, you can see um, how much it's affecting Yatesy. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, a, it's a heavy weight. All good for boys, stand down. Oh, Pretty yeah. sure we've got Relief. It. There you go. Thank you so much. No, no problem, that's all. Awesome. Thank God. That's so good. Go well on team. Yeah, that's good teamwork. Good stuff. Look, there's that many people on the beach, it, it happens. They're the real ones as a lifeguard and we breathe like a huge sigh yes. of relief. Like, yes. I'm looking forward to seeing Yatesy's reaction. Oh my God. God, Yatesy would just be so relieved. relieved. Yeah, it was one of the most anxious and <coughs> stressful times I've had down here. Yeah. yeah. Over 10 years. Even after a rescue has been uh, executed where we've done a really good job, um, and it could be a stressful rescue or it could unfortunately mean there's a resuscitation mm -hmm. or a serious injury. Even though you relatively, you know, you get the pats on the back or you've, you, you know you've done okay job, mm -hmm. um, you still get that bit of anxious yeah. feeling that, okay, well, your adrenaline is just am I going to be, through the roof still. Am I going to be put in that situation again? Yeah. What would I do differently? You're always trying to yeah. be better and learn yeah. from your last job. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it, it, you got the massive adrenaline rush and then you got the come yeah. downs. And, and the come downs almost worse than the adrenaline yeah. rush because you, you think just so much clearer. I'll just give you a quick, quick uh, example. Um, unfortunately, we respond to a lot of jobs around the corners, around the cliffs, um, from people falling in from rock fishermen to, you know, unfortunate suicides. Mm. And there's been times where we've done some major jobs around the corner and then you'd come back and, you know, adrenaline rush of rescuing someone, retrieving yeah. someone, coming back, and then half an hour later, you're down North Bondi, beautiful summer's day, people everywhere, and mm. you get that person that comes up and goes, gee, you guys have got it good. That's, yeah. And, and like yeah. that sometimes can be the, the adrenaline rush of doing your job and being exposed to yeah. some serious stuff to, okay, you're getting your heart rate back down, you're taking in what you need to do yeah. as a job, and then someone says that, and it can kind of... Yeah, it flicks a switch in it. It does, and it makes you quite anxious and, yeah. and, and, and quite um, upset, so... Yeah. It's, mate, it happens so often, because everyone sees us on the beach, and they see, yeah, we're sitting in a buggy or yeah. we're watching. No one really understands that for 13 hours of the day, we're literally glued to the water. Mm. Sometimes concentrating actually and watching the water is actually the hardest part of the job. Doing rescues, and anything is actually the easy part. The hardest part is, is concentrating really, and yeah. watching that same place for, <clears throat> for hours on end. The worst is when, when you've been looking at that spot for, for 
I don't know how many hours, and then suddenly someone comes to you, hey, listen, yeah. I miss someone right here. Yeah. And you think, oh, hang on, I've been watching this. Yeah, play. it can be hard. You and can then, be as good in the then, water as you want, but you also need to know how to pay attention. Yeah, eyes on the water, it's yeah. really important then. Thanks everyone, hope you all enjoyed. For more videos, check out the Bondi Rescue channel.